Hi, it's Matt here for New Shooter at NAB 2017. I'm with Mike from the Arri booth and the Sky Panels have got an update. Tell me all about it. That's right. So this is the third major update that we came out with the Sky Panel uh, for firmware. So this is firmware 3.0 and we've uh, included 10 amazing new features inside of it. The biggest new feature is lighting effects. So we pre-programmed 12 different lighting effects into the sky panel that you could call up and adjust their parameters really quickly. So it kind of uh, eliminates the need for a console, like if you're on location and you don't want to set up a console and, and do programming, you could come up with these effects and do something very quickly. So, so what I, sort of effects are in there? Yeah, so I could go into the menu here and the effects. So we have a candle effect, uh, clouds passing, that's like the clouds passing in front of the sun, club lights, a color chase, cop car, fire, fireworks, light strobe, lightning, paparazzi, pulsing, and television. So I can show you a couple of my favorites here. Uh, a real real clout, crowd pleaser is the uh, cop car effect. And the cool thing here is you can uh, see the effect on the wall behind you. Uh, we could change the color selection, so you could just do blue, like if you're in Europe, uh, just blue cop car, uh, red and blue, blue and white, or uh, blue, uh, red and white. And then you could also select the flash pattern. So if I just want to do a single flash back and forth, and it's actually using, I'll turn it down a little bit and turn it towards us so you can see, it's actually using the different light engines to create this effect. So you can see it's using the one, two, and then I could change the pattern here. So this is a double, this is a five flash all or a quint all, quint left and right, and then a quad left and right. So it's really flexible. I could store this effect into a preset, call it back anytime that I want. I could also select it through DMX if you wanted to set up a DMX. So once you make your actual selection and adjustments, you can then save that particular look and then... Exactly. Right. Where, where does that get saved to inside so the unit? here, there's a preset button. You just hold down the preset button. It brings up the save preset window. I just select an empty slot, click the encoder, and now I have got my cop car effect stored in there. Is there a limit to how many slots you can store? There's 10 uh, user presets that you can store in there. So that's just one of the effects. Another popular one is, uh, is fire. So everyone needs to create a fire effect. I'll turn this up a little bit. And again, we're using both of the light engines to create this very dynamic effect where uh, you know, one light engine is doing th something else that the light other light engine isn't. And then there's a randomness to it as well. So you know, there's no pattern to it. And the pattern is where you really you know, kind of throws it off. So we eliminate the pattern by having a random effect. And with the fire, you could do things like select the color temperature range. So I could go warmer color temperatures or cooler. And I could also adjust the speed. Another really fun one, I'll show you one more and then I'll go into the other, uh, the other features. My, one of my favorites is paparazzi. So with paparazzi, I'll turn it around it's again. It's like a flash effect, I take exactly. it. Exactly. So you can see I'll turn it down a little bit so the camera's okay. Um, but basically, again, I'm going to use both light engines and I can adjust the type of flash. So I could go with a more kind of a flash bulb where there's a decay afterwards. Or I could have the modern flash, which is a much more staccato. Uh, flash like you would have on a modern camera and then of course I could change the speed so you know someone famous comes out of the hotel room and now all the paparazzi go crazy you can kind of mimic that and again I'm using both light engines on the S120 the our long, a longer one we have four light engines and that way you can use four different light engines separately so it's almost like you have four photographers there so that's a really so I guess now that these effects are in here you know in the future it's probably the possibility to add any type of sort of effect later on yeah, I mean, we have ideas for other effects that we'll probably do for other future ones, and maybe we will be able to do custom effects as well, so we'll have to see where it goes. But these 12 are the, are the first ones to kind of come in there. The other one is a new way of selecting color. So, you know, we have a lot of different real-world sources uh, around us, and a lot of times people just want to be able to match those sources. So now we have a new mode called source matching, which allows you to call up we have 46 different uh, real-world sources programmed into the sky panel. So we have uh, categories like incandescent, which has the tungsten bulb, halogen, antique bulb, infrared heat lamp. We could go into fluorescent, where you have soft white, uh, uh, compact fluorescent, a cool white, warm white, black light even. Uh, in the discharge, we have everything from HMI, high and low pressure sodium vapor, mercury vapor, metal halide, carbon arc. Uh, so you could literally go into an environment for, for, say, somewhere where it's being lit by a lot of neon lights or something. It's a very unnatural light that's always 
almost impossible to match and then you could theoretically create exactly. a light source to match that. Right, sure. So another example would be like if you're shooting on uh, the side of a street and there's lots of sodium vapor lights there, instead of having to kind of dial through all the settings to kind of find what closely matches, you could just bring up this and it'll match those lights really perfectly. The reason for that too is because we've actually taken spectrum readings of these different light sources and then used our calibrated light engines to recreate those spectrum and that color. So we're able to get very, very accurate representations of it. So that's a super easy and fast way to, to kind of pick a color that is trying to mimic something else that might be in your scene.